Hi, my name is Lori and I work for the SWOM School. Today we're going to talk about class 2 macroinvertebrates. They're class 2 because they're moderately sensitive to polluted water. Let's go ahead and get learning. Previously we discussed what a macroinvertebrate is, that it is an organism without a backbone that can be seen with the naked eye. So our first class 2 macroinvertebrate is the aquatic sow bug. This macroinvertebrate is a crustacean and they eat pretty much anything organic from animals to plants. There's no larval stage and the immature snow bug, sow bug, excuse me, I knew I was going to say that, sow bug looks very much like the adult version. The sow bug molts until it delivers the adult version. The sow bug has seven sets of legs, the front legs having enlarged hinged claws for grabbing its prey, while the remaining six sets have a pointed claw on the end. The body is extremely flattened. Next is the crane fly. The larva is called leather jackets. The adult is sometimes called the daddy long legs and it looks like an oversized mosquito. Most crane flies are black, although they can be yellow, brown, or gray. The larvae eat algae and other microflora, while the adult crane fly doesn't eat anything because of its short lifespan, which I don't think is that short, but it's about 10 to 15 days although they have been observed eating nectar from plants. The damselfly is another class 2 macroinvertebrate that can be compared to a dragonfly, which is another class 2 macroinvertebrate. The damselfly, however, rests its wings at the sides of their body. The nymphs are aquatic and eat other insects. The adults live near water but aren't aquatic. They also eat other insects. The dragonfly, notably, is next and it resembles a dam damselfly, except they're larger. When resting, a dragonfly holds its wings out from its body, as opposed to the damselfly that holds its wings at the sides of its body while at rest. Another distinguishing feature of the dragonfly adult is that its back wings are larger than its front wings, opposite of most flying insects. The wings are transparent, although they sometimes have bright spots on them. Both the nymphs and adults are predators, and consume other insects and sometimes small fish. Scuds are interesting looking macroinvertebrates. They're omnivores and eat anything organic, plants or animals. They are sometimes called side swimmers. The larvae and the adult look alike. The first and second pair of legs have claws at the end, while the remaining five sets of legs have one pointed claw. The eggs are hatched and held on the underside of the female thorax until the next molting releases the immature scud. In summary, we talked about all the class 2 moderately sensitive to water pollution macroinvertebrates that you should know. There were only five, and they were the aquatic soba, the crane fly, the damselfly, which looks a lot like the dragonfly, and lastly, the funny looking scud or side swimmer. That's the end of the presentation for Class 2 macroinvertebrates. Have a wonderful day.